My name is Jacob, and I am here to talk to you about love. Love is showing others how much they matter to you. One thing that I love is, is books. Books are good for so many different things, like decorations. As a paperweight! You could play Jenga, gently. Or dominoes. But no matter how many uses a book has, they were really made for one important thing. They were made to be read. That is their purpose. Books can teach you things. They can entertain you with stories. They can help you discover how different people live and think. But they can only do all that if you read what's inside. So in today's story, we're going inside the Bible. And we're starting at the very beginning, where we'll discover how God made you and me for a purpose. Hey, <laughs> I just thought of another thing you can use a book for. Frisbee! Oh, sorry. Oops. <laughs> the Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Genesis, chapters 1 and 2. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing at all except for God. But God was so full of love, it couldn't be contained. And that deep love spilled out into the shapeless void. Let there be light. Dazzling light shot through the heavens, blazing and radiant. God separated the light from the dark. Evening turned into night, and night into morning. The very first day of all time. But God was just getting started. Let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. The sky arched out high overhead, and below, mighty waters rolled, covering the earth like a deep blanket. That evening and that morning was the second day. Let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground disappear. The earth shook, mountains rose up, and rivers burst forth and ran through wide open plains to shiny seas. Let the land produce plants. Let there be trees that grow fruit. A riot of green covered the earth. Tall trees shot up towards the sky. Creeping vines crawled along the ground from pines and petunias mixed with cornstalks and cabbages. That is good. There was evening and there was morning, the third day. Let there be lights in the huge space of the sky. Let them separate the day from the night. The sun blazed forth and the silvery moon took its place. Stars, planets, and galaxies spun out to the ends of the universe. It is good. That evening and that morning formed the fourth day. And now, the earth itself became a canvas for God's incredible imagination. Let the seas be filled with living things. Let the birds fly above the huge space of the sky. Proud eagles soared through the sky and doves made their nests in the branches below. Dolphins leapt out of the surf and trout and minnows chased each other through laughing brooks. God bless them all. <laughs> this is good. There was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. But God wasn't finished yet. Let the land produce every kind of living creature. Huge leathery elephants shook the ground while tiny gray mice scampered at their feet. Lions roared and lambs played tag. Now that is good. The earth was bursting with light and sound and color, but there was no one there to enjoy it. No one there with thoughts and feelings who could share it with God. 
No one who could love like God. Let us make human beings so they are like us. Let them rule over all the fish and the birds and the creatures. So God got down in the dust of the earth and formed a man in God's very own image. God breathed life into him. <gasps> oh, 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 breathing. Oh. <clears throat> Oh, that feels good. Oh, the air smells uh, sweet. God placed the man Adam in a beautiful garden along the banks of a river. Farm the land. Take care of it. Okay. Oats. I think I'll put them in a good crop of oats for oatmeal. And uh, what are these red things? Uh, strawberries, I think. Those should go with cream, if I can think where that comes from. Even with all the things still to be discovered in the garden, though, Adam was still on his own. It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper who is just right for him. So God brought all the living creatures on parade for Adam to care for and name. Perhaps a cow came first. Right. You. You give cream. And uh, you've got a nice, calm sort of face. Uh, I'll call you Cow. Maybe a white-tailed buck came up and nibbled a vine over Adam's shoulder? Oh, dear, that tickles. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Oh, that suits, so I'll call you dear. One by one, the animals crowded around to see the new human. Giraffe, gerbil, mm, oh, fox, uh, 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 alligator. At the end of the day, though, Adam was still alone. This is all amazing, God, but even with a whole litter of puppies snoozing in my lap, I feel like something's missing. Adam had something to care for, but no one to care for him. So God caused Adam to fall into a deep, deep sleep. Then God took a rib from Adam's side and formed it into a woman. Adam woke to something new. Oh, ooh, I got a crick in my side. Hello. Oh, who, who are you? I'm still learning that. Eve, I think. Madam, I'm Adam. <laughs> uh, would you like some breakfast? Well, after we discover what breakfast is... I can recommend oatmeal with strawberries. God poured out a deep, deep love into all of creation. But on day six, God made humans. All people were created in the likeness of God. Have children, so that there will be many of you. Fill the earth and take care of it. I am giving you every plant and tree for food. People were made in God's image to think and feel as God can, to love as God can, and share that love with each other and all of creation. It is very good. At last, God's creative work of love was complete. And on the seventh day, God rested. In the beginning, God made a beautiful world, and God made people to take care of that world. But our purpose is even bigger than that. God said it wasn't good for people to be alone, because God knew we would need people to take care of us, and people we could take care of. We were made to love. Now. You can love lots of things, like sports. Three points. Oh, watching movies. Ah! You can love dominoes. You can even, uh, you can even love books. But Jesus taught that we should love God and love other people. That's what's most important. It's okay to love things, but we were made to love and take care of each other. That's our purpose. So here's the one thing to remember today. God made us to take care of each other. Be kind to each other. Listen to each other. Pray for each other. We all need to be taken care of. I need to take care of all these books I dropped. <laughs> Maybe I can build a fort out of books. See you next time.